Hello, this is Blue Star. Did you have a question? And this is my uh, video log of day one of PonyCon 2016. And what do you mean the princesses are right behind me? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I could not resist. Okay, so so we'll be getting more on to uh, you know on to them in a little bit later. Uh, yeah, honestly, I think I will say this is like uh, I don't know if they're gonna stay or not because unfortunately they are not remotely to scale with the other ones. So, <laughs> but anyway, so yes, yeah, so uh, so so day one, two thousand uh, PonyCon, two thousand sixteen. Um, I must say, unfortunately, I started off kind of sleep deprived because unfortunately I was really worried about this one because. I've I've never driven into Brooklyn by myself, so <laughs> it's like I don't know where I'm going or something. <laughs> it's like, will I be lost forever in Brooklyn? No, <laughs> no, and everything. It's like I, you know, I've never heard of this this place before and everything. So it's like I don't know where I'm going or what's gonna happen when I get there. So I've got a little, I'm 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 a little freaked out about it. So. <laughs> Not that much, but still, yes, yeah, so I didn't to sleep that well that, that the night before, so. But still, uh, but the good news is I managed to get there reasonably on time. Unfortunately, the badge pickup was really <laughs> a frustrating thing for me, because this time, you know, when I go to BronyCon, I get there on the Thursday before, so I go pick up the badge beforehand, and you just basically, you just walk in and you just get it. It's not a big deal. You know, on the day of the con, it's quite a different story. That's what everybody's trying to get their badge and everything, and that was exactly what happened here. And the thing is that, you know, the frustrating thing was not that the line was very long, it's just that the line was not moving for a very long time, because basically all the, the VIPs get all their badges first, and that basically means that everybody else just has to simply sit and wait and basically do nothing. <laughs> so that was kind of frustrating. Uh, but, you know, um, I did grab a little bit of footage. I mean, overall, I grabbed some footage of it. I mean, I was, I was kind of I was kind of in a hurry and rushed and just sort of like, oh my gosh, trying to figure out the layout of the format in this place and everything. So I'm kind of like uh, just rushing around, you know, and not really having time to stop and really look at things. So, yeah. But I took a little bit of footage of uh, the line. Like, you know, it's one of the, the things that people love to do and when stuck on these lines to start seeing like some of the MLP songs. And, um... Maybe I'll edit some of that video together and I'll put that online at some point. Uh, yeah, the short answer is that there's definitely going to be a lot of uh, video work and editing for before I can put before I can put all that all that footage out. So I don't know when, if or maybe even if that's going to happen or not. Because yeah, the short answer is I like taking all this video footage because you know six months from now I won't even remember I was at that a certain panel it's like i won't even remember it but i'll you know maybe i'll but six months from now maybe i'll watch this video and I remember oh yeah i was there <laughs> i remember what it was like sitting in that crowd and everything and it also gives you know hopefully you know some of you the chance to at least uh, uh view it uh so yeah so after i got the badge i went to the panels basically there was only two panels i went to uh, there was basically inter basically lord faust and um what was it Bon what is it? Bonnie's, uh, Bonnie Zachary, I think it is. Basically the original, you know, basically she was the original creator of the very first My Little Pony and everything. Um, and obviously Lauren Foss is the creator of the new MLP, so yo! So that was kind of cool. It's like, <laughs> it's still, it's one of those, it still hasn't sunk in. I was in the same room with Lauren Foss. Yo, that was cool. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, that conversation was a little bit interesting. I, I must admit that the short, the long story short is, unfortunately, I spent most of my time fiddling with my camera and trying to figure out the best place to put my camera so that I don't, uh, so that I don't have people walking in front of it all the time and everything. So unfortunately, I was sort of paying attention, but it was mostly about sort of like how did the toys start? You know, how did the character? How you know how did Lauren Foss start to? You know, how did she get into this job of how of creating the next My Little Pony series and everything? So it was. It was mildly interesting, but it was not quite what I was expecting, but it, were, but it was pretty cool and certainly be interesting to go back and, and look at it. Um, and also, um, on a slightly slim, similar note, ah, my brain is malfunctioning! Ugh. <laughs> anyway, that there were definitely lots of uh, cameras, at least in the, uh, the main hall. So uh, most likely there's going to be a, a PonyCon channel somewhere that's probably going to be releasing this stuff at some point. Because uh, otherwise, why were they there? <laughs> But anyway, enough of that. So that'll be interesting. So, uh, so that panel was okay. I mean, I was, yeah. 
But um, yeah, the second panel, which was uh, another voice actor panel. I love voice actor panels. Those are always fun. You know, this definitely always go to the voice actor panels. They're always fun because yeah, it's like the people just make jokes and just have fun. And you know, it was, it was sort of interesting because this time it wasn't. It was mostly with. It wasn't with the the main six characters. It was with like like the Flash Sentry. Uh, basically, all yeah, all the stallion characters. I think the, some of the the singing voice actors and everything. So that was kind of interesting. Um, and this time I found a nice place to put my cameras and I could just sit and just let it record and everything. So that worked out okay. So that was cool. Uh, so I might be, I think I'm probably going to air that after I air this video because that video was quote unquote clean. So I can just basically just upload it and not have to do any editing on it or anything. So, um, but yeah, um, the other thing that I did do, I spent, I did go around to the, the vendor area because I did have to, I did, um, somebody requested that I go buy something for them, which I was able to do. Yo-ho. Uh, so that was cool. And, you know, as you said, uh, got a few things for myself. It's like, yeah, for, as a first, it's like I actually bought something the first day of the con, which is generally good advice because, um, uh, especially when it comes to like things like plushies and stuff that you know if you really want it you need to buy it when you first see it because otherwise it may not be there when you come back so oh dear so yeah <sighs> so yeah i mean that was kind of cool so um but yeah overall this uh con is definitely way different from brody con it's like i think the short answer is you could almost fit this entire place in the main hall at brody at the baltimore convention center you know it's that that basically describes it maybe not quite but you might come close it's a very it's very nice though i mean it's all like marble staircases and stuff I did unfortunately notice that there was also pictures of, um, uh, uh, more, more precisely, paintings of <clears throat> naked women on the uh, on the walls in some places. Uh, makes it kind of hard for a uh, child-friendly environment. So, mm. oh dear, I wonder if anybody noticed that or not. <laughs> oh well. Mm. Yeah, it's clearly one of the. It's sort of like one of these old sort of hotels in the sort of grand style, whatever they. But it's a, it's it's nice. <laughs> I can't help but think it's like this place way outclasses us. Do they do they know who hired the place? <laughs> but anyway, yeah. But uh, overall, I, I I like it. I mean, it's sort of in some ways I'm sort of undecided about whether I like the smaller con or not because yeah, like the vendor area is way smaller than this. In fact, it's on two separate floors. Um, but yeah, the biggest thing with it being is much smaller is that it's really hard to get by people. It's like oh 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 and everything. But um. But still, it's, but uh, I, I think overall I like it. I think I like it. It's going to be uh, interesting. And yeah, I mean, so, and I didn't stay for, I only stayed for those two panels and basically hung around the vendor area a little bit. Um, sort of explore the place. I went to the, um, I also went to the restaurant uh, next door because supposedly you're not allowed to bring outside food or drink into the con itself. Ugh, which I'm honestly not too keen on, to be honest, it's the short answer. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I'm going to say is it, it was okay. Not great, but it was okay. Yeah, so anyway, because don't want to beat on that restaurant or anything like that. But anyway, so anyway, let's move on. Um, yeah, so I mean, I decided to not, I've definitely tried to decide myself, uh, but my, you know, I've decided to not quote unquote burn myself out by over scheduling myself. It's like loose, like some things like, yeah, I might want to go to that panel, but I'm not going to say, oh, I absolutely am going to go to that panel. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, it almost reminds me of the thing of like, you know, definitely this year's Brody Con. I definitely have to make a point of like, I'm, you know, gonna, picking a time and place to say, I am going to be here. And if anybody wants to come and talk to me, you know, go go there. And I'll <laughs> it's stuff. Because you definitely have to do better at, you know, trying to actually, you know, meet my subscribers and talk to them and stuff like that. So, yeah, I definitely have to do a better job of that. So, yeah, because. Cause yeah, that, I mean, yeah, the the panels are cool. These cons and everything. The vendor area is cool. But you know what? In a way, sometimes the the point is to you know go there, meet friends, have fun, and all that stuff. And I'm I'm still very much a loner, so I got to work on that. So yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so um yeah, so I left basically around three thirty, and it's like <laughs> yeah, so much bit of wanted to hopefully get to uh um. Yeah, basically, I wanted to get to hopefully at church or something, you know, which is at like five or something. I unfortunately left a little bit later than I should have or something like that. So <laughs> it's like I can't help but think it's like, oh, no, what's that song? It's like, <laughs> it's like, I'm not going to make it to the church on time. <laughs> almost, almost, but not really. But anyway, so that was cool. So not to mention it gives me time to take care of your things, make videos like this and everything. So, um... 
Although, I'm not quite certain if I'm going to have time to make a video like this tomorrow or anything like that. But um, overall, it's like, so it was okay. Things are going all right. I mean, yeah, was, I didn't enjoy standing, sitting in line for probably, well, I don't know. It was, at least, it was at least an hour. It was probably more. You know, just standing there waiting for the line to move. That, that wasn't any fun. But anyway, and I did take lots of footage and hopefully I'll... I'll edit it all together and put out there at some point. And of course, did buy some stuff for myself, which I'm going to go through uh, briefly. Yeah. Um, you know, I did, make, I did fulfill one in most in a way tradition is that I have to make, I have to commission something that I will not be able to get at the con, you know, that I have to wait for, you know, for someone to go make. And it was going to be uh, a Blue Star shirt with my cutie bark on it. Um, which is going to be made out of sort of the same material that this shirt is kind of made out of. So that'll be kind of cool. <laughs> I'll probably end up using that as my blading shirt because that would be cool. But anyway, so yo, um, yeah, so uh, I have to be wait on that. So that's kind of a oh well, that'll be okay. But look, the one thing I do have to comment on this guy is that the, that I like the fact that he you know confirmed like my email and you know he, he asked me is, is this your email address? Is this the right address? And gave me a little card with a neat with a net with his with his um email and a website to go check on so I can go check on the status of my order because last year I commissioned somebody to make like little patches of uh, Blue Star's cutie bark and the guy never got back to me so that kind of bites so mm, so yeah definitely conf you know, so yeah definitely get an email address. so yeah, if you're going to commission someone to do something that's going to take like a couple weeks or something or whatever make sure you, that you know they confirm your that they know that your that your email address is right and that they give you their email address and or phone number or a website or something that they can go check so that you can go and so that if they don't get back to you within a certain time you can go bug them about it you know <laughs> so yeah um so that was cool and of course you know, they bought Princess Luna and Celestia. I like them. They're nice. I mean, they're, uh, you know, for what, you know, for what they are, they're pretty good. Yo-ho. So, um, and I also bought, <laughs> I bought two comics. This one, which is supposedly an exclusive at, um, at PonyCon. Eh, I read it already. It was all right. <laughs> and this one, which I actually already have. Uh, but this, but this one, had, yes, I bought it simply because it's got Princess Celestia and Royal Guard armor on it. <laughs> there are worse reasons, I guess. <laughs> so, so that was pretty much, uh, you know, my, so that was pretty much my day at uh, PonyCon uh, 2016. It was, it was okay. I liked it. It'll be interesting to see how the following days go and everything. And, um, again, hopefully, maybe I'll get to see you there. If not this year, then maybe next year. So, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, uh, thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing. And until next time, this is Blue Star. Stay strong and pony on. Blue Star out.